Hi, welcome to Spiritual Nuggets of Truth, a division of Wings of Love Women's Ministry that broadcasts biblically-based messages that undoubtedly take you to higher spiritual heights. Wings of Love Women's Ministry connects with women who have battled abuse in their lives and who have been held back from moving forward for whatever reason. We encourage women to move forward and grow in their personal relationship with Jesus Christ by growing in the knowledge and understanding of God's Word so they can be healed and restored. We also help women discover and fulfill their God-given purpose so they can minister in their local churches and the community. You know, we all need motivation and inspiration to grow in the knowledge and understanding of God's Word. So I've developed a devotional journal called You Are God's Masterpiece Devotional Journal which is full of scriptures and inspirational poetry to inspire you and motivate you beyond measure. And you can get your devotional journal by going to my website, wingsoflovewomensministry.org. Click on the shop tab at the top and search for You Are God's Masterpiece Devotional Journal. Again, go to my website, wingsoflovewomensministry.org. Click on the shop tab at the top. And search for You Are God's Masterpiece Devotional Journal, which is on sale for only $15. And I know without a doubt that it will definitely inspire and motivate you and take you to higher spiritual heights. You're listening to When Christians Speak Online Talk Radio, broadcasting out of the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Today's voice crying out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. When Christians Speak is dedicated to lifting up the name of Christ Jesus and spreading the good news. When Christians Speak Talk Radio is a non-profit ministry. We are dedicated to spreading the gospel of Jesus through our programs and special guests. We exist through the generous support of our listeners. If you are being blessed through this ministry and would like to give a love offering, go to our website and click on our donation page. Your donation will be processed through PayPal. Our prayer is that you may prosper, be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Unto the Lord, for He is good. Yes, He is good. When Christians Speak Talk Radio is a 501c3 nonprofit ministry. So all of your gifts to this ministry are tax deductible. So go out to our website, www.whenchristianspeak.com, and click on our donation page. Spiritual Nuggets of Truth with your host, Minister Carmen A. Booker on the When Christians Speak Talk radio network. Today, the message is entitled Grace in Action. Grace means divine influence and the ability to do what God wants you to do and be who God wants you to be. You must discover, pursue, and fulfill your God-given purpose. You must acknowledge, submit, yield, and develop the grace of God in you. Romans 12, 6-8 says, Having gifts, faculties, talents, qualities that differ according to the grace given us, let us use them. He whose gift is prophecy, let him prophesy according to the proportion of his faith. He whose gift is practical service, let him give himself to serving. He who teaches to his teaching. He who exhorts, encourages to his exhortation. He who contributes, let him do it in simplicity and liberality. He who gives aid and superintends with zeal and singleness of mind. He who does acts of mercy with genuine cheerfulness and joyful eagerness. You know, grace operates in faith. It takes steps to increase faith, which accesses the grace of God in you. We increase in faith. Faith is more than just belief. It's trusting, depending, and relying, being confident that God will do what he says he will do. First Peter 4.10 says, As each of you has received a gift, a particular spiritual talent, a gracious divine endowment, employ it for one another 
as befits good trustees of God's many-sided grace, faithful stewards of the extremely diverse powers and gifts granted to Christians by unmerited favor. So use the gifts. God gave it, gave you gifts to use, to help others, be a blessing to others. Philemon one six says that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the knowledge of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. So it's important to acknowledge that you have gifts that God has given you. Acknowledge them and use them to help other people. Use grace to change the world. Use your gifts to change the world. And that's exactly what they will do. Because God gave you the gifts for a reason, a purpose. To be a blessing to others. And as you do that, as you use your gifts, you will experience true love, joy, and peace and fulfillment. There are a lot of people out there that are living frustrated lives because they don't know their God-given gift. They don't know their God-given purpose. But once you discover it and begin to fulfill it, there's nothing that compares to the joy and peace and fulfillment that you experience in doing that. Use grace to change the world. Pursuant to Deuteronomy 9 and 9, grace must be received. For it is by free grace, God's unmerited favor, that you are saved, delivered from judgment, and made partakers of Christ's salvation through your faith. And this salvation is not of yourselves, of your own doing. It came not through your own striving, but it is the gift of God. Pursuant to Ephesians 2.8 Rise up and move into victory. Become a giant killer so you can move on to bigger things. Fear and anxiety empower Satan, but faith releases the hand of God to operate in your life. You must understand who God is and the power of God, that he can do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think. Then you will see the manifestation of the power of God in your life. Be transformed by the grace of God and live by the power, life, revelation, and grace of God. And this is achieved by the following. One, once you're saved, the Word of God constantly transforms your faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. So constantly hear the Word of God and apply it in your life. Two, once you're saved, you're no longer under the worldly government, but under God's government, which has new laws. You're under the rule and reign of Christ, which yields different outcomes. You allow Jesus Christ to lead and guide you as opposed to your own will, your emotions to lead and guide you. And when you allow Jesus Christ to rule and reign in your life, in your heart and mind, this is really kingdom economics. You become, you can become a kingdom-minded entrepreneur, for example, because you're allowing Jesus Christ to rule and lead and guide you as opposed to your feelings and emotions. Three, God's grace and powers. You can be all that God wants you to be when you rely on God to help, sustain, and elevate you through the Word of God. As you allow the Word of God to renew your mind, your thoughts become like God's thoughts, and your ways become like God's ways. So I challenge you to allow the Word of God to renew your mind, your thoughts, and become like God's thoughts, and your ways become like God's ways. I want to thank you for listening to Spiritual Nuggets of Truth, and we hope that our program has helped you to grow in the knowledge and understanding of God's Word. And we would like to invite you to become a partner with Wings of Love Women's Ministry so that we can continue to reach more people with the message of Jesus Christ and help transform their lives for the glory of God. And you can partner in three ways. You can become a member of Wings of Love Women's Ministry. And some of the benefits of membership include 20% discount on our ministry resources, including our books. You also receive 10% discount on upcoming seminars and conferences sponsored by Wings of Love Women's Ministry. And you can also become an ambassador by starting a chapter of Wings of Love Women's Ministry in your city. And you can also partner by donating. You can learn more about this by going to our website, wingsoflovewomensministry.org. That's wingsoflovewomensministry.org. And know that when you donate, your contribution will help us to continue to transform the lives of people through our radio teaching ministry. You will also help us to help women become victims rather than victims of domestic violence. You will help women move forward and experience healing and spiritual growth. Knowing that through healing and restoration, the good work that God has begun in them, He will complete. And we welcome your prayer requests. Please email us your prayer requests to wingsoflove833 
at gmail.com. Again, that's 833 at gmail.com. In this message, I talked about gifts, how God gives you gifts. And I've written a book that will definitely help you discover your spiritual gifts. It's entitled, Discover Your Spiritual Gifts. And you can go on the site and receive that book. You can purchase it, and if you become a member, you receive a 20% discount on that book and other books that you'd like to purchase. The website, again, is wingsoflovewomensministry.org. Thank you, and have a blessed week.